Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Welcome. Uh, before we get to the box of the month, I wanted to just talk briefly about a couple of things. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of work in the train room because it's the holidays, but next year I'm going to get back to it and I'm going to be filming it. I've already filmed some and we're going to be putting together a series of programs that document the, you know, the stuff that I'm doing in there and the progress on the layout and all of that. So I'm pretty excited about that and uh, hopefully everybody will want to watch it. Um, the other thing is next week um, we're doing a holiday special, which is why we're putting this program out a week early or a couple weeks early. Um, we usually put it out at the end of the month, but in any case, um, we're going to do our, our Christmas tree with the train around it, and I think that's going to be pretty fun. So uh, I hope everyone will want to watch that. And then uh, last Sunday, because there's an extra Sunday this month, um, we'll have a, hopefully a surprise that'll be a good one. So anyway, um, without further ado, let's get to the box of the month. All right, so in case anyone doesn't already know, this is Nicole. Hello, everyone. And uh, Shay in a Santa hat. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> this isn't part of the box of the month, but I just, you know, well, thought it would be fun. <laughs> you know, we have to have a holiday tree and you're having a holiday box of the month. I mean, yeah. look at what we're wearing. Yeah. We went the extra mile. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's get to the box. All right. I think this is a sort of a special one. Really? Well, sort of, kind of. This says Genesis. Genesis, yeah. From Athern. This is, I think, mostly Athern in this box. And these. All right, this. This is a model of uh, Denver and Rio Grande Western 5771. One of the, this is an F9. So. What year is that? Uh, these were built like in the, well, F units were built, I think, starting in the 40s and, and through the 50s. But what year was that model made? It looks like an older model, right? Uh, this is a few years old. It's not, not super, super old. old. This is one of the Athern Genesis ones, so it's got the nice details on it. And, like photo etch side grills and almost uh, looks like a bus front instead of a train front to me. Yeah, a lot of railroads used to use these. Really? Not not so common anymore. But um, this one has actually uh, been preserved in a museum. Ooh, where is that museum? Uh, I think it's in Colorado. Some place we can take a train to. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe we'll have to see. That but anyway, um, so. It's a bit of a stretch, but you know, Southern Pacific merged with Rio Grande in like I think '89, and I think this engine was actually taken out of service around 1983 or '84. But you know, we could stretch it a little and say it was on an excursion. So, <laughs> so We're, something we can use. Yeah, possible. yeah, potentially, potentially. So. This is a double one, and I picked it up because I was trying to sneak a peek to see if any of these had your green seal stamp of approval. Oh, mm. I don't know. Some of them might. I haven't done uh, that. Like that one is pretty much straight out of the box. Um, I got it off of eBay, and I didn't really I haven't done anything to that one yet. Okay. I don't think it even has a decoder in it, so. Okay. This one, on the other hand, this is the Western Pacific FP7A. With the same front. That's cool. Yeah, this is the passenger version. It's slightly longer. Oh. Um, this is 805A, which is the one that's been preserved up in Portola, which I've actually seen myself okay. a couple of times. Um, this one has been fully worked on. And uh, it has a uh, low sound uh, decoder, and I changed all the lights to LEDs. I redid the number boards so they're recessed. 
and the marker lights work, and I did a lot of work to this one. Wow, so weathered is this one all. ready to go then? Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit weathered. Um, again, a bit of a stretch for 1990s era SP, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I like Western Pacific, what can I say? Well, you're allowed to like more than one thing. Right? Yeah, and I actually have um, uh, Broadway Limited made a set of uh, cars for the California Zephyr, which is what this was originally pulling the old original California Zephyr that was a Western Pacific Rio Grande and Burlington train. Um, the okay. three railroads combined. But um, anyway, so that um, is what this would normally be pulling. Um, okay. And yeah, so. We need more space to make more places. Yeah. Make and lots of copies of lots of places. Oh, that's this, right. That one had a second one. Yeah, this was an AB A, B set. So um, this is the B unit, which I think is a, yeah, this is an F3B. So okay. very uh, similar, but with no cab. But with Just, no cab, yeah. Yeah. So typically the Zephyr would run with an A and two B units, and then they would have uh, the cars. So That the people were in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, Athern cool. sold, and um, this one also has a uh, decoder, and I believe the sound. Um, Athern, uh, a lot of times they sell their F units in, in AB sets versus just the um, single units. Super shiny on the side. Yeah. So that goes with that. That goes with that. And yeah. here is your next one. There's the next one. Oh, and this is the other B unit. Oh, from what we just saw? Yeah, this is an F7B. <clears throat> so very similar to the F3B, but slightly different fans. So it would be the first one and then those two pulling in succession. Right, and then a bunch of passenger cars. Okay. So, yeah, these are all set up and ready to go. They've been, they already had pretty good detail. They're all Genesis, you know, the Atherin Genesis line, which is pretty good um, out of the box, but I added, did add a few details and things to them. Hmm. So. The wheels looked a little shiny. You? No, they're painted. <laughs> oh, she loves it with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Had to look. You see, made me look. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. <laughs> I anyway. love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> okay, and this is Western Pacific F7B. Okay, this is a freight B unit. Oh, okay. Uh, almost the same color scheme, but the pa uh, freight units had black trucks instead of silver. Oh, so the same front part, but freight at the end, or the front part, but people at the end. Right. And two different. Right. So these would be. Okay. Yeah, this would have been pulling freight cars versus passenger cars. Is that because they would have made it for freight? Like do more heavy lifting, mm, so to speak. They might have been geared differently geared back differently. in the day. Okay. Also, the passenger units usually had a steam generator because old passenger cars had steam heat, so they would have a little boiler in there that would make steam okay. for the steam heat. Whereas the freight units didn't need that, so they didn't do it. Okay. Nowadays, passenger cars have electric everything, so they don't do that. Okay, different railroad. Ooh, it's red. This is a Santa Fe F7, <coughs> another Atherin Genesis. Excuse me. In the war bonnet scheme, pretty classic. Mm, very pretty. Uh, this is another one that's straight out of the box. Haven't done anything with it. Um, when I got this, uh, I had intended to make it into a model of the one that still exists and is preserved at the California. State Railroad Museum, I think, at least I think that's where it is last time I checked. Um, although it's got a couple of little details that would have to be changed to make it accurate for that particular engine, but um, anyway, that was kind of my plan for it. Okay. So again, it could 
theoretically be in an excursion. <laughs> I suppose we'll have many excursions so that we could play with yeah, all of our trains. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Backdrop we'll be making. Yeah. Excursions. Yes. Lots of excursions. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Well, you know, if you can't have a little fun with it, what's the point, right? It's <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> um, another Western Pacific. And I really like the orange and silver. I like the black stripes. So this, cool. yeah, this one is a model of uh, 918D, which is the one that's at Niles. Oh, okay. Um, you still have to take me there. Yeah, we haven't, I really want to go. haven't gone there with you yet. That's right? Something, talking about the Niles Canyon Railway, which is a... Um, Preserved well, actually, a re reconstructed section of Southern Pacific line through uh, Niles Canyon, and originally went all the way through Altamont Pass between like Fremont, California, and Tracy. Um, a lot of that track got torn out in the '80s. There's still a parallel Western Pacific line, which is now UP, um, which is the one that it's still in use. But um, anyway, the Niles Canyon Railway people have rebuilt about I don't know at this point probably about nine or ten miles of the line. That's awesome. And they um, operate some historic uh, steam and diesel locomotives on it. Yes. That's pretty, pretty neat. Very scenic. If very you haven't been cool. there, I'd highly recommend it. Um, yes. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, this is. Uh, I, I like to model engines that, um, if if you know when possible, that, that I've actually seen uh, myself. Yes. Um, and so this would be one of those, and. Definitely, since this one actually, I'm pretty sure is in operating condition um, at this point, um, could possibly, you know, be an excursion. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And we could get a lot of good pictures and video of it. Yeah. And that is very cool. Yeah, is it in that paint scheme? Yeah, stuff? it looks just like that. It looks just like it. Exactly. That's awesome. And, ah, another. WP freight engine, another F7. This one is the 913, which is preserved at the California State Railroad Museum in Sacramento. Also operating. So I can put together with the 913 and the 918 and that B unit, I could put together a WP freight train. Or with the other ones, I could put together my Zephyr. Nice. And Very have a cool. WP um, uh, passenger train. Anyway, these just these are cool, and I like the paint scheme. It'll be nice once we get the track built, and we can put all these different things together, and we can make little videos. Mm -hmm. That'll be really cool. Yeah, that's definitely one of my goals for building a layout is to be able to, um, you know, do a lot of video with it. Right. Mm -hmm. Photograph and video will have to happen. Yes. All right, another Genesis. Surprise. Another Genesis. Yes. <laughs> Santa Fe this time now. Santa Fe. This is the hmm. Okay, this is the B unit to the other one. There's no numbers on this one. Yeah, this one says no numbers. Actually the Santa Fe B units were really hard to, to tell what the numbers were anyway because they Usually, if they were on there, they were really tiny. Really? Well, yeah. Hmm. So, okay. um, but anyway. Very cool. All right. Last box like this. There's one awesome. other in there, but I saved it for the last because it's the different box. A different box. <laughs> How'd that get in there? I don't know. What is this? <laughs> oh, this is, all right. This is the B unit for the Rio Grande unit. <laughs> this is, uh, and actually, I guess technically the Rio Grande engines could also pull the Zephyr because they did share the train. Did they ever do that, though? 
pull the zephyr. Yeah, the Western Pacific took it, I think, as far as the Utah. I think okay. I want to... Was it the... Yeah, I think Utah. I'm not sure exactly where the change... I'd have to look it up. But anyway, um, then the Rio Grande took it from, like, there to another point where I don't, which I don't, I don't, again, I'd have to look it up, but then they, uh, the Chicago, Burlington and Quincy took it over and took it to Chicago. Okay. So, wow. um, there was three, three different railroads. They use the same cars, but they had different engines. They would change the engines. Wow. Okay. So that is very cool. Yeah. Of course, nowadays the Amtrak California Zephyr is, you know, different, but yeah, this is the back in the day Zephyr. Video bombed by Marley again. Oh. <laughs> Happens every time. Almost now. <laughs> Almost. He thinks he can get away with it. So he's like, ah. Yeah. He's here. So I saved, to me, the best for last because I love the paint scheme. Okay. <laughs> it's like this black and orange and striped, and it's just very cool. So yeah. what is this? This is an old um, Atlas Southern Pacific uh, is this an RSD 15? Ooh. No, RSD 4 or 5. That's pretty. Yeah. So this is a, this is in the early SP switcher scheme, one of them. So anyway, I... So they just used them in one spot to switch with that paint scheme? They originally had different... I, yeah, they had a, they would have been painted in the Black Widow scheme if they were road engines. Okay. So... Um, yeah, sometimes in the back, way back then, they would have different schemes for that kind of stuff. Okay. Then they kind of stopped doing that later. Oh, but, that's too uh, bad. Yeah. So anyway, this one doesn't really have much of anything done to it either. It's just straight out of the box. Um, doesn't fit the 90s at all, but, you and know. So this is a train that doesn't really fit for you is what you're saying. Yeah. So... <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> what you're saying is that you can't really use this train <laughs> in well, your stuff. Well, I mean, so like this train could be the train that eventually goes around the upper part of the house. Maybe. That we've would been, be cool. We've been talking about actually putting um, between our living room and our dining room. Uh, a track up by the ceiling just so I could run a train around both rooms. Kind of in a crazy eight kind of deal. Yeah, but it's sort of a figure eight. Yeah. Um, it would just be a basically a, a loop. You know, I don't want to have any fancy track work up there, but... Um, I'll relinquish it for now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. No part pop up. No big deal. Oh, none of that now. Yeah, it's okay. It'll, and... it'll pop back on. That would be the end of That'd our box end. of the month. It's a piece of paper, <laughs> but that's not too exciting. Well, I suppose that that goes inside of one of the... Oh, no, actually it doesn't. That, no? Operating instructions for a lifelike Proto 2000 SD7. Hmm. So I uh, don't know why that's in there, but, you know. <laughs> Surprise! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever yes. you celebrate. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>